born and raised in South Minneapolis, so I know the city. I spent the oh, first part of my professional life in criminal justice and corrections, um, working with different uh, state departments of corrections around the country. I worked with uh, men and women that were currently incarcerated or coming out of incarceration. I did it here in the state. I did it on the East Coast. I was a consultant. I worked uh, in San Francisco area, lived in the D.C. area. About three, four years ago, quite frankly, I was a bit burnt out, um, tired of traveling, realizing that I had done about as much as I could do. And so I was a conscious decision to improve my personal life. I used to ask people in the penitentiary, who are you? And you know, there were some pretty typical kind of answers. I'm a man, I'm uh, African American, I'm Hispanic. I said, yeah, but who are you? <laughs> and so somewhere in my mid 50s, I started asking myself that question after spending so much time working with other folks. And uh, after doing some real soul searching, getting next to God, I knew that some changes had to be made. One of those things that's kind of like a second career. You know, when I was in seminary for a short time, you know, we talked about callings. What have you been called to do? And after studying that and kind of understanding it for myself, I believe working in community, working with the health of people, working on improving myself and the lives of other people if, they, if I can or if they want to. <sighs> That's kind of what I'm left to do, I guess, in life. <laughs> and it feels pretty good. It's a good life. Yes, God has a reason for everything that God does, right? <laughs> and he brought me back home. <laughs> Not all the way back home, I'm still here on Earth, but a little bit closer. <laughs> a little bit closer to home. <laughs>